Hi, good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium, where tonight history will be made on one side of the ball or the other as 5A state championship is on the line. South Panola taking on George County. A okay, good look at the South Panola Tigers coming out of the Tiger Mouth there. That Tiger Mouth doesn't look very friendly right now. <laughs> you know, this is old hat for South Panola, but it's exciting every time you get here. In the trenches, and it's going to be very interesting to see how George County counteract those that, when they give it up a lot in size, but in the trenches. They're going to have to do some things that they normally haven't done. Tig Barksdale, the long back in the backfield. And they'll go to Barksdale off the left side. Scott blocking in front. Barksdale, touchdown. He makes it look easy. Oh, they don't have, South Panola's had a lot of good running backs to come through, but they're saying that old Tig Barksdale may be the fastest they ever had. Let's look at the replay here. Look at the blocking out in front. And then it's just sheer power into the end zone. Good block by Sanford, the right guard for the Tigers. And now the point after attempt coming up. And it'll be the quarterback, David Renfro, who will attempt it. Snap is down, kick is up. And it is good. First and ten for South Panola. And there's a big time lick. Tig Barksdale meets the George County defense. Mississippi Power Energy, Don Proctor, Sailor South, and Mississippi One Call, and George County going to try to go for it, and no. Yeah, that was a good defensive stop that time by George County. Second down and 12. Renfro straight ahead to Tig Barksdale, first down, and he has no one to catch him. Look at him run. Well, there go the rushing stats out the window. <laughs> and if look, you look at, at that, that, there's that blocking, that offensive line scheme. It's the left guard to tackle one, pulled across, created that. 71 yards. Straight ahead, Barksdale. Good blocking, little crease. And then he's off for the races. For number 52, Quinn Sanford made that happen there. 71 yard touchdown run by Barksdale and Sal Panola leading 13 to nothing. Just like that. Look at the size of, of Tick Barksdale. He's not small. One wide out to the left. Guess what you're going to get a steady diet of down here. Straight ahead. Here's Tig Barksdale. Touchdown off the left side. They can't stop him. No. And that offensive line, that is his third touchdown of the night. That offensive line just blowing him off the line. Look at the blocking here. And he just powers his way in. Alonzo Lawrence trying to get over there, but there was no way. And as a defensive coordinator, you know, you, you can come into it one or two ways. You can sit back and be passive and give up the big chunks so you can try to win this game. And they came into it trying to win this game, and right now they're just getting manhandled, and it's not because they're not trying. Uh, point after is up by Renfro as George County will go into the locker room and try to figure out how they can put some points on the board against this very quick South Panola football team. They did exactly what everybody thought they were going to do, Cheyenne. Sure. They came in and ran the ball, and then on defense, they were so quick you couldn't run the ball against them. The backfield with Hopkins, and here comes South Panola. Hopkins to throw. Lifts it up there, and it's caught. And Alonzo Lawrence will head into the end zone. Let's see what the penalty is. I'm sure it's uh, pass interference defensively. And tell you, he's a playmaker. 36 yards and a good call on your part, Cheyenne, because you said that they've got to put it into the hands of the playmaker. South Manola. You know, Russ, I've been surprised that they had tried to go to him a little. Right either way. Barksdale right up the middle, big hole. Barksdale cutting to the outside. And a, <laughs> what a play. He stripped the ball from Barksdale. Dandy does it on Dandy does it. Alonzo on Barksdale. Your big playmakers have to make plays in big games. George County with the ball. Hopkins wants to throw, it's wide open. Alonzo Lawrence, touchdown. What a play, but hang on, there's yeah. a flag now. I think that one may be coming back. Alonzo Lawrence got that on his own. Nice throw from Hopkins. And it's against George County, I believe. 
must have happened in the interior part of the line. Let's see. Yeah, they started out showing option looks, so I was wondering. They're holding this George County. Oh. Ten yards. We play first down. Oh. Oh, at the most inopportune time. Wow. What a heck of a play by Alonzo Lawrence. He came in with ten touchdowns on the air. Nice throw by Cookie Hopkins. So now you've got first and 20 instead of a touchdown. Twin receivers to the right, one to the left. George County trying to get back in this ball game. Down 21 to 7. Hopkins on the pitch. Fumble. Looks like South Panola got it. They did. Man in motion left. This is Barksdale left. Barksdale touchdown. He makes it look easy, doesn't he? First and goal from the six-yard line for the Rebels. Hopkins to throw. Throw. Caught. Touchdown. He'll hand it off. Barksdale right side. Nobody there. And Barksdale going to carry it into the end zone. A flag goes down. Barksdale carries for the touchdown. Flag on the play. And that was thrown in the direction. That's five touchdowns. There's the flag if they count the touchdown. We have a live ball, unsportsmanlike, against South Panola. But the ball was fumbled into the end zone and recovered by George County. Be first and ten for the 20. Well, about that. Hopkins out of the shotgun. Hopkins rolling. Hopkins looking, turning the corner, wants to throw, throws. Is it a touchdown? Touchdown. It is. Touchdown. <laughs> Russ, I just named this group. These are the cardiac kids. <laughs> Teeing the ball up is Will Scott, a sophomore kicker for George County. And let's see if they can get the onside kick. Oh. Yeah, it goes up in the air. I think George County's got it. <laughs> Did it go 10 yards? I think That's it did point. because it hit. If I'm not mistaken, what's we'll he on the replay? It looked like it hit Safanola player. Now they'll swing it out. They're going to get the first down. Yes. Alonzo <laughs> with the first down. There's your playmaker. That's the playmaker. Fourth down and eight. Hopkins to throw. Has got him out there. It is incomplete. Oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> no call. And on fourth down, South Panola holds. As you see, the championship trophy being lifted again for the fifth time as South Panola wins it 28-21. to 21.